welcome to another episode of The Roundup. The final two cups of Split 1 took place last week in North America, which means there are now eight teams with a ticket to the Open Finals. And that's a big deal because the top four teams from that event move on to the challenge. Now remember, this is where the standings were heading into the final two cups. It was pretty much the usual suspects from Season 1. Obey Alliance, formerly Chazmac Gaming, had been on a roll, and Vanguard has been playing under their new name, No World's Team. Still in contention though, so let's go ahead and check out Cup 5 and see what happened. The first, second, and third place teams were there, and STMN, representing a tie for sixth, made it there as well. Vatra got the win over Tribe with an impressive 2-0, and then STMN managed to overthrow Obey in a close 2-1 series, a very important win for them. STMN earned their first cup final showing of the season, where Vatra was awaiting them. Let's see how Bobby and the squad fared versus the rank 3 powerhouse. Things kicked off with Heist, and STMN went up 1-0. Although they struggled to make it past the semifinals in earlier cups, the Canadian squad was looking sharp this time around. After getting some early damage on the blue safe, STMN was content to just hold their line and force Vatra to make the risky offensive plays. Eventually, Vatra hit their stride though, taking complete control of the midfield and getting some much needed damage onto the STMN safe, giving them the advantage with about 30 seconds left on the clock. Cute was having none of it though. As Vatra regrouped by their safe, he sensed the perfect opportunity to push up and unleash hell upon the blue defenders. Vatra could do nothing versus the perfectly timed onslaught and in an instant, the blue safe went from 75% down to nine as the match timer ran out. STMN took the first set 2-0. Batra came alive in knockout, going up one nil in the set, which brings us to this second round. The first sub round came down to a 2v2 with Zar and Bobby holding hardcover and arguably the advantage. Jay Carlos and Payne played it to perfection though, somehow surviving the endless stream of explosions while countering with precision shots of their own. Zar went for the trade onto Carlos, but Bell's positive feedback ability kept him alive and put Batra back in the driver's seat. Bobby valiantly tried to take the 2v1, but it was just too much for his Brock to handle. Now, we all know Brawl Stars is a game of coordination and teamwork, but sometimes an individual player can have a massive impact, and Payne reminded us of that with his Piper play. Let's count along as he hits these beautiful shots. That's one. That's two, three, four, and five to solo kill OG while leaving Zar wounded. That impressive display of skill gave Blue the overmatch and Bobby was left all alone. Vatra took the set and equalized the match in dominant fashion. It all came down to hot zone and STMN was up 1-0, just needing this round to claim their first cup finals win of the season. Vatra was leading by about 20% with just 30 seconds remaining putting the pressure onto the red side to make a play. STMN played it to perfection, using the healthiest brawlers to get a few percentage at a time. While the others healed up, they simultaneously kept Jay Carlos from flanking left. With 10 seconds left, the blue side was at a disadvantage on health and a little too far from the zone to effectively contest. And that was exactly what STMN had been waiting for. As Zar rushed up mid, Vatra found themselves split and hopelessly low on health. STMN held the zone to win by just 5% in the final seconds of the match. An epic finish to a battle of two titans. Now let's see how Cup 5 affected the standings. First through seventh was pretty much locked in, but there were four teams within striking distance of eighth place and the last ticket to the open finals. FA, Papichulos, Cytamins, and Omelo Chino. So let's take a look at the bracket and see how the story unfolded. The final cup of the split decided their fates. Cytamins couldn't overcome STMN in the round of 16, so they'll set their sights on performing in split two. FA was lucky enough to start with a bye, but then they ran into Poppy Chulos. The Poppies won the match, ending FA's open finals dreams. That left just Poppy Chulo and Omelo Chino with a chance to snag that final spot. Omelo Chino had an insane run, beating both Vatra and Raconic 2-0. That set the stage for an epic must-win semifinals match. If Poppy Chulos won, they were guaranteed eighth place. If Omelo Chino won, they were guaranteed at least a tiebreaker match. 
This crucial match started with knockout, and although Omelo Chino got on the board early, it just wasn't enough to overcome the dominance that Poppy Chulos displayed. It ended up being a quick win for them, and they went up 1-0 in the series. Omelo Chino had no choice but to win Brawl Ball. Their open finals dream depended on it. Unfortunately, they were up against a roster of veteran players who weren't about to let that ticket to a challenge qualifying event slip away. Charles ended up putting on a masterclass of how to attack in Brawl Ball, single-handedly ensuring the ball was in position after each fight. He rolled in both goals needed to take the first game of the set. Omelo Chino made some adjustments in game two, posturing much better on defense. It still wasn't enough though, and just 19 seconds into the match, Tooney was there on the attack 2v3. He got a clutch wall break and his shot rolled right in. The pressure never let up from there. With the red team on full-time defense duty and blue hammering away to build up their supers and inch closer to goal. Despite another 2v3 disadvantage, Charles and Tooney set up for another brilliant play. Charles passed forward and then supered into the back line, getting a double kill and leaving Tooney a perfect setup for the shot. Honestly, it was just complete domination. Poppy Chulos earned their spot in the Cup Finals versus Tribe. They weren't able to defeat the best team in North America, but despite the loss in the finals, they still did what they had to do to secure eighth place. With that, they secured a ticket to the Open Finals by just 35 points. So now the stage is set for our next Open Finals, which should be another incredible competition as these teams brawl for the chance to advance to the Challenge Series. That broadcast will be on November 18th, so make sure you tune in to catch all of the action and see how the first half of Season 2 plays out. As always, click the links below in the description for all your Snapdragon Pro Series information, and we'll see you in finals.